the properties of fool's gold. Attention! Sulfur dioxide is toxic if inhaled and can cause chemical burns on the skin, eyes and respiratory tract. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. While digging for gold, some minerals have been sometimes mistaken for it, especially in the past. A typical example is this mineral called pyrite, which is also known for being called fool's gold and can sometimes have a yellowish color. From a chemical perspective, this is iron 2 disulfide. When it was tried to melt the pyrite, the following happened. At 570 degrees C it decomposes while elemental sulfur is formed as one of the products, which is then able to react easily with oxygen from the air to form sulfur dioxide due to the heat. A part of the sulfur condenses on the surface of the tube which might be due to the sulfur dioxide preventing further oxidation. Even after cooling down completely the sulfur doesn't crystallize immediately but within the following days. The residue on the bottom of the tube is a mixture of different sulfides and is magnetic. It can also be found as a mineral which is called pyrotide and has been called magnetic pyrite in the past. In comparison the pyrite is not magnetic. This were some of the properties of fool's gold. I hope you enjoyed, please rate and comment. If you want to know more about the properties of sulfur, you can watch my video about it here, or you can watch my latest video here.